Hi and welcome to my playhouse. And today I'm gonna be playing with this little Lenovo Think Center, <laughs> tiny Think Center, and it's an M93. And way back I exchanged the CPU in this, and I just did a video where I tried to change the cooling compound in it from this stuff, which is really inexpensive, to this stuff, which costs a lot more. That did more or less nothing for me. So, um, well, I was hoping that maybe I could find some other solution to get better performance out of this. Oh, it's an i3-4170. And this is a CPU that uses 54 watts, which is why I thought the cooling compound might uh, be helping because it does get a bit warm when I stress it. So that didn't help any, but I just came across that maybe uh, the memory frequency would uh, have some beneficial things to do with it. So I found a couple of other memory blocks and one of them, this one, is 1066 megahertz, where this one is 1333 megahertz. So, and the one in it, well, there are, runs 800 megahertz so we have an opportunity to try and exchange the memory blocks and see if that does any difference maybe the one in it is already 1000 or 1333 megahertz and the system itself is just not using it i don't know but maybe it is just an 800 megahertz ram block in there and we could benefit from um, pushing that up so let's open it up and have a look just see it. I have a little um, program here called CPU set and you can see different stuff in here. You can see the CPU uh, there, the wattage that it should use to suck it, the blah blah blah. And it also have one for memory, a little fan here. And it says over here that this is a single channel RAM and it's uh, running 799 megahertz. Uh, so I thought we should just try and start this CPU test and maybe see if the RAM goes. It doesn't really do anything, does it? So maybe this is not live or anything. Um, CPU doesn't say anything about the RAM there, does it? Uh, so yeah, this this changes up and down a little bit. So. Okay, let's close this down and um, try and change the block. I'll start with seeing what's in it. So, I still have this machine open from the last video. There is just one screw on the back. So, let's just open it up. And just to feel more safe, I'm going to unplug the power plug. So, this one, which is a regular Lenovo ThinkPad power supply, I think. Over here is the CPU, down beneath here is the RAM, but to get to the RAM you have to kind of flip out the hard drive here, which is a solid state drive. It's available in more versions, oh, both screws here, there's one screw on each side of the hard drive. Good thing to take out the power is if I drop a screw down here so that it does not short circuit anything important. So let's um, pop this out. It's you slide it to the side and you can kind of slide it out of this out of the way. So let's see what we have here. This is a Lenovo part. Or at least it's system. It, this is a 1600 down here. So I think this memory block can run a lot faster than it is running. Uh, it's a 4 gigabyte block. It's a single channel RAM, 12800S. I think this is a lot more powerful than than the system is using. So, um, let's try and just replace this and put in one of the other blocks and see what happens. So this one is a 4 gigabyte and this one is a 2 gigabyte. So let's try the, the 4 gigabyte first and see how that how that works. See if it has any difference whatsoever. 
And I don't think we're gonna open and close this quite a bit, so I don't think we wanna just put this down loosely. not have to work with it. We can run it open, I guess. There. And it boots right away. Okay. We actually lost some speed here. We went down to 532 megahertz. So that did not become any faster, that's for sure. Up here it says frequency is 800 megahertz. Uh, when I start doing something, uh, there, this thing has kind of a stress the CPU thing where it uh, give it something to do and it will rise up to uh, 3.7 gigahertz and I do believe that's uh, the CPU speed uh, about the same. So that wasn't it. Apparently the memory in the system is already 1.6 gigahertz. Oh. 1600 megahertz as I said, uh, which was kind of why this was 800 megahertz so this one is slower what happens when you uh, put in a slower memory block do we lose anything uh, normally we are down here uh, this CPU has done between 329 and 351 so we should be there about. Um, well, this is more of a CPU test, but actually it scored really high. 357. I've never seen it that high before. So that's kind of in the weird corner. Let's try and put in the two gigabyte block. Okay, I'm gonna disconnect power again. Take the SSD out of the way unclick this Ooh. and put in this two gigabyte instead so with this two gigabyte block also a single channel memory block and right now the processor is at 800 megahertz uh, the DRAM frequency is about 665 megahertz, which is kind of half the frequency that I would have been expecting. Like this is a 1,333 megahertz RAM block, so why are the DIM, the DRAM half of that? I'm not sure about that, but apparently that's how it is. And as long as all of them is like that, uh, they're compatible or comparable. So we have went from 800 down to 500 and now we are up to 665. So let's uh, run the test and see how that goes. Okay, so once again, I got a very nice result of 357, which is 28 more than the minimum that I've had in this system. It might be because the system is open and it's able to draw in more air to cool the CPU. So I think I want to go back and try and put in the Lenovo original memory block, the, the 1600 megahertz one, just to make the test more the same. So um, I'll do that, be right back. Okay, now it's running with the Lenovo block, the original one in here, and I just ran the test and it came out with 358 CBs. So that's one CB better than the two f uh, tests before. So that does show that, well, this the memory does really not do much for this test at all. So maybe this is more of a processor test and the memory might not influence much on that, apparently. So not really seeing any effect on the memory speed, I think I'll just put in um, extra two gigabytes of memory. That one is a four, so I'll take that one, which is also the higher frequency. What happens when I put this in is that the two memory block will drop down to the memory speed of the slowest. So let's take this one out.
I don't know why it's up here. This seems to be memory dim number two, and that one is number one. So I think we'll just move that one down here and have that one up here. See if, see how that works. Okay, let's do it like that. This computer is configured to boot when it uh, gets power after it has lost power. I just ran the test again and I scored 351 of these CBs. Right now it's counting 6 gigabytes and this has changed to dual channel. So that's apparently just that there is two blocks in it and the frequency has dropped to the lower one. So it is only able to run as fast as the slowest memory block in there. So if I put the 4 gigabyte other one, this one that I have here, it would have dropped down to 500 and something, 533-ish, I'm guessing. But right now it's 666-ish. And running the machine open uh, does that the temperature does not climb as much. So running the test was, it ended up at 81 degrees Celsius which is uh, way better than the 90 degrees that I see with the lead on. But I'll have to put the lead back on. I can't have a machine like this running. I'll get something stuck in there. Well, so what did we really learn here? Um, I kind of learned that the memory speed is not that important, especially not um, on what the CPU is doing. The CPU will work almost as fast uh, even though the memory speed is a bit slower. So probably the amount of memory is more important than the speed of it. Uh, especially if you have some programs that uses a lot of memory. Uh, I have never really had a memory problem with this computer. So that's also why I did not put in the 4 gigabyte block. Plus this uh, 1066 megahertz uh, RAM is a bit slower. So I thought, well, when I don't have a problem, it's better to have a little bit less, I guess. I don't know. I would love to hear if you have some good suggestions on how I can um, improve performance on this little machine. I have been looking at different CPUs for it and I found a 4570, which is an i7, but it's kind of costly. But... Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.